Hey everybody, Joy here. It's Wednesday, it's hump day. <laughs> and it is January 27. You know, since I've been using this devotional book, I seem to remember what day it is. Isn't that nice now if I can remember the year? January 27, 2021. Yes. And a brand new, fresh cuppa made by my very husband. Okay, are y'all coloring in your books? I've been spending so much time on the scan and cut, I haven't been coloring in my book. I just, when I'm learning something new, I just do it over and over and over and over until I get it. So I made number four yesterday, I did hours of video for you. But when I watch it back, uh, it's just, you know, you guys might like to watch me, but I don't like to watch me. <laughs> so I've got, I already know that. I already saw that. I already did that. <laughs> but I have to cut out all of the O's and all the all rights and all of the yeses and all of the coughs and all of the sneezes and all of the phone calls, <laughs> which are only spam to start with. So anyway, when I get one that has like a dozen or more clips in it, it takes me a long time to edit it. So I'm working on one for you guys, okay? And it's not just about the scan and cut. That's part of the problem. I make an entire garment in it. And then I show you how I put this stuff on, which I don't think looks that great today. Um, but then I can always start on garment number five and get better. That's the thing. If you practice, you get better. You know, this is a brand, brand new hobby for me doing scan and cut. All right. Let's do our devotional. Today's scripture is Matthew 6, 8. Your father knows what you need before you ask him. Matthew 6, 8. These words are so very comforting. God knows what you need even before you ask him. He anticipates your need because he loves you very much. He also knows the difference between what you need and what you want. He may not always give what you want because he knows it isn't what you need. Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, oh my goodness, is that ever, 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 ever true? You know that song that Garth Brooks sings all the time? Something about unanswered prayers? Oh my goodness. How many years? Did I pray for things to happen the way I thought they should? I thought I had my life all figured out, you know, because I'm organized. And so I kept trying to explain to God, uh, excuse me, I know you're God, but really, this needs to happen, then 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 when all that happens, then this will happen, and then everything will be perfect. <laughs> no. God's just up there going, <sighs> That girl, she is one of my hardest challenges. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. So what we said was he may not always give what you want because he knows it isn't what you need. He can see the full picture of your life. So he knows what you need in every situation and for every task. See, and that's, that's the whole deal with God, is He knows your whole life, but He doesn't tell you. <laughs> it's like, if it's my life, shouldn't I know <laughs> what's going to happen tomorrow and the next day and the next day? Shouldn't I know <laughs> if our kids are ever going to like us? Shouldn't I know if anybody's ever going to call us or visit us or love us, you know, in this family? But... God knows. God knows the future. And I think sometimes if we did know, I think all the time, if we knew the future, we'd screw it up in the present and then it wouldn't be able to happen in the future. <laughs> oh my. We are intricate beings because God made us in his image. All right, last paragraph. Since he knows your needs, does that mean you don't have to ask him? No, do ask. Asking reminds you that you are trusting God. I had a friend once, and um, 
I don't know if they ever, I don't think they ever went to church. I, I don't know what their relationship with the Lord was. But she told me one time, she said, I was telling her that I'd ask God for something or whatever. I don't remember the conversation, except I remember her saying, I never ask God for anything. I'm like, oh, really? <laughs> Oh my goodness, I pray most of the day, I pray most of the night. <laughs> please, Lord, please, Lord, please, Lord, please, please, please. So I don't know, everybody has their different beliefs, but I think that each of us has to be in love with God enough to want to worship Him enough that we don't try to figure out our own selves, what God may be like, or what God may want, or what God may command, we have to read his word. He gave us a manual. God is not up in heaven saying, well, let's make a deal. God's up in heaven saying, this is the deal. And that comes straight from Pastor John Hagee. Okay, so I hope you don't mind me interjecting my thoughts with these devotionals. I know a lot of you have the books yourselves, so just erase the joy part and read what's there. <laughs> okay? So, I have some stuff I want to show you today. And I don't know where this is in the video, but you're going to see me put the book down and close it. And so, when you go forward with the little, little dot down there and you see that I'm closing the book and I'm putting it down, then you can start watching me and I'll start talking about sewing or quilting or life or whatever. <laughs> okay. Yes, I made my talk. No, I don't remember the pattern. But remember, when I get through making my videos, I always go and I look through all my patterns that I have made. And if I can find what one it was, then I will put it in the description box below. Now, yesterday, I put a link to a table like mine in the description box below. I know a lot of you really like this table. Some people are calling it an overbed table, and I don't think it is an overbed table. We own a medical equipment company, and we sold overbed tables. Overbed tables don't have a bar here in the middle. Overbed tables have the bar over way on the side, so the table can slide under your bed. This one could not slide over your bed and under your bed except to halfway, and then you'd have to like hang over the side of your bed to use the table. So I would not call this one an over bed table. But I did find one kind of like it. Actually, a lady showed me a picture of one that's a lot like it that's at Walmart, but I think you have to go to Walmart online. And its name was so long. <laughs> I think it actually was an over bed table. But what I like about this one is it's got, it's got the tilty surface here, and then it's got the straight little place right there that you could put your coffee. I'm sure it's for your mouse, but for me it's for my coffee or my pens or my colors or whatever. Okay, so I hope you find a table if you like it and you want one. Alrighty, I want to talk to you about something else. <laughs> Let me roll up the camera. Okay, this is my jewelry making hobby here in this corner. <laughs> and I just got through making my friend Viv some blue earrings. I actually made them four weeks ago. And I've had them packaged up and ready to send to her. But the one day that Jerry went to town to go to the post office, it was some holiday and the post office was closed. So, Viv, your box is going to the mailbox today, to the post office today. We can't mail it from here because we never know how much the postage is for anything, so we just have to go to the post office. Anyway, Viv Mom, your box will be on its way today. Okay, I wanted to tell you something. Last night, it's like every other Tuesday, Peggy Sagers comes on, and it's she's live, and she does a one-hour live on YouTube, and last night she was showing her new spring patterns and hey if you look her up she did a video like just yesterday before that live one and it's like a fashion show of her new patterns it's the best thing i have ever 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 seen her do for her new patterns 
I have told you before, I think her pattern envelopes are just practically impossible to figure out what her pattern looks like. Like it will be for a blouse, but she'll have a coat over it. Or it'll be for a pair of pants, but she'll have a long top over it. And you can never tell what the pattern is. She says, turn it around and look at the back. Well, you know, nobody wants to look at a line drawing. You know, if there's a live person wearing the garment, let us see the garment. <laughs> so anyway, she did it. And it's a video on YouTube. And this is January 27, did I say, 2021? So that probably would have been the 26th or 25th. And it's a fashion show of her four new garments. I didn't like any of them. First, I saw the drawings in the email she sent, and I went, eh, 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 eh. But when I saw the girl wearing them, what a difference. What a difference a view makes. What a difference somebody actually wearing the garment makes. But <laughs> I watched that. I was all happy. I put a comment underneath. Hooray, hooray. I love this. Great idea. But then her live one hour video last night which is from eight to nine o'clock our time she was showing her four new patterns and she had them on mannequins behind her and she was explaining this is why i made this one this is why i made this one this is where i got the idea for this this is where i got the idea for this and so then she said I love to look at all of the new styles, and I love to watch all the new fashion shows, and go to the stores, and I love to see all the garments made up. She said, but I've got some pictures for you. She has this thing, her boys help her with her videos, she has this thing where she shows pictures that she's looked up. I took my cell phone and snapped a picture of the pictures she was showing last night. These were pictures of what's supposedly coming out for spring. To me, it looked like something somebody would wear in a haunted house. The ugliest, ugliest clothes I have ever seen. The colors don't look anything like spring. They look like fall or winter to me. They're dark, dreary, drab. And, and she even said, now these fashion shows, they're kind of like art, you know, and they kind of go overboard. Mm. If this was art, whoever's doing it needs to get off drugs. I'm telling you, it's just the ugliest. And, now listen, whose channel is this? It's mine. <laughs> if you look at these clothes I took pictures of and you think they're just wonderful, hey, make you some, buy you some, wear them. You'll not be seeing them on me. Now, I'm not talking about Peggy's four patterns. Her four patterns are really nice, and they look great. But these are the clothes that she's supposedly getting her ideas from, and they're the styles that are coming out for spring 2021. I took pictures. I'm just going to show the pictures. One, two, three, four, five. I think there's about five of them right here. And then I'll just narrate underneath the pictures, okay? We'll start them right here. In this picture, we're supposed to notice that for spring, we're supposed to wear our outer clothes, like regular clothes. And evidently, we're supposed to cover our entire face all the way up to the top of our head and underneath our chin down to our neck and wear a hat. This is supposed to be spring clothes. I, I just, I can't imagine. Purple jacket's okay, the yellow jacket's okay. Um, I don't know, that turquoise one, and then the girl wearing a band-aid on her boobs, and then a coat on top of it, and then the lady with the two giant V's, and some big design of men's heads on her knee. I don't know whose taste this is, you guys, but it's not mine. <laughs> you will not see me wearing this. Now, here's a lovely ensemble. This supposedly was what you wear when you leave the gym. You need to have a black belt, a black turtleneck, a green purse, and pink shoes, and lots of fabric with none of those colors. Maybe she has some black in the outfit. 
I just cannot believe. If I put something on like that, Jerry would not be seen with me. <laughs> so if I remember right on this one, it's talking about big shoulders, wide shoulders, or shoulders sticking straight up in the air to point to where your ears are, or gigantic, huge ruffles. Oh my, and look at the lady with the red nylon stocking pulled over her head. She looks like she's about to go rob a bank. And then the one underneath her has got a lovely snake hairdo. Oh my goodness. I don't know art or not art. I just think this is horrible. Absolutely awful looking. <laughs> the black top and white skirt aren't too bad, but oh my goodness. And evidently you never wear underwear under your clothes for spring. Now this one is supposed to be the new denim. I think Peggy said that it's supposed to be biodegradable denim, but actually all it is is cotton denim. That lady on the top left looks like her crotch is almost to her knees. I think that looks just terrible. The other ladies are okay. And of course you can't see everything that they've got on, but evidently this is supposed to be the new jeans and they're supposed to be biodegradable. And then your top is supposed to be way, 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 way too big in the neck. Look at, look at the sleeve, the sleeve on her garment. I think that's a sleeve because her blouse is made out of that fabric. It goes clear down to her knees, below her crotch. Oh my goodness, who comes up with this stuff? I hope you guys can hear me talking okay. I have to have my microphone turned almost all the way down or it um, just makes all kinds of horrible screeching noises if you know how to fix that. But let's notice the lady in the center. Oh my goodness. That's supposed to be a spring outfit. Come on. It's clear, covers up her neck, goes all the way down to her hideous shoes. Looks like she's got combat boots on. And it, it it's supposed to be for spring. My goodness, are we going to have a really freezing cold spring this year? And then what you're supposed to notice in this picture is that all the waistlines are belted because evidently they're going to make the new spring garments gigantic. Oh my. I actually snapped all these pictures with my phone to show Jerry last night. These are the new coats. Again, this is spring. <laughs> the coats, evidently, you just pull out all the pieces of old fabric that you have left over and you sew them together and you call it a coat. Just, oh my goodness, stripes and plaids and dots and every color under the sun. Um, I don't know how the lady on the top right even got in the picture because her coat actually makes sense. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Now if I remember right, Peggy said that another look for spring is pastels. Well to me this is not a pastel and neither is the green one coming up behind her. They look like they belong on one of those Star Trek movies. The shoulders, surely, surely that is not going to be in the stores. Look at those shoulders. Oh my goodness, it looks like a giant crane could come down from the sky and grab her on each shoulder and just lift her up and move her somewhere. <laughs> I won't be wearing that, my friends. I mean, what are those 12-inch uh, high shoulder pads? <laughs> yes. Now this one's my absolute favorite. <laughs> I wonder if they'll have this at Walmart where I shop. <laughs> now, I do have that nice bright orange fabric I bought yesterday. I could make some of those lovely, I guess they're leggings. It looks like one's higher than the other one. And then you just wear some black little tiny underwear shorts. And then you, you find a pink top that covers one shoulder, not the other, and it has really, really, really long sleeve that comes way down under your fingers. 
It's got to have, looks like a tie, but you don't tie it. You let it drag on the ground. And then you have to have a hoodie. Here you've got this summer top, both shoulders bare, and a hoodie. Oh, yeah, that's beautiful. And not only that, a matching face mask that goes over to your ears and covers up the entire bottom of your face, including your chin. Oh, yes. I, I just can see myself. But I, I just don't know if I would look good in those shoes, you guys. <laughs> I know I would fall over. And underneath that mask would be a bloody nose. <laughs> just half my teeth knocked out. <laughs> okay, everybody. <laughs> I don't know what you thought of those garments, but you know what I thought of them. <laughs> oh, my goodness. So tomorrow is another Judy Kessinger. Tomorrow's Thursday, the 28th, and there's another Judy Kessinger, some kind of a, a Zoom class. I've already signed up for it, and I'm, I'm not sure what it's about. I think it might be about a V-neck. But if you ever have a chance to take any of her Zoom classes or watch them, she's a very, very fun lady. And she takes all the questions, and she answers them very carefully, and she's just a lovely, lovely person. And the things that she does are just amazing at how simple they are. And she's a very good instructor. So, no affiliate connection. <laughs> Just really like her, Judy Kessinger, K-E-S-S-I-N-G-E-R, and she owns FitNiceSystem.com. And the videos that I'm working on, I show you a garment that I made from her pattern, which is a super, super simple uh, dolman sleeve t-shirt that I'm, I'm putting all kinds of, uh, not applique, um, zoom and cut vinyl. I'm really not crazy about the one I did yesterday. I used gold glitter vinyl, and it's pretty, and it looks nice, but you can't really read it. From across the room, Jerry was going, what? No, no, what? No, something about, does that say coffee? <laughs> uh, get your head over here and read it. <laughs> it said no talking before coffee. But the gold didn't really turn out that good. But anyway, you'll see it in my... <sighs> I actually had to take that video and chop it. It was just way, 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 way too long. And I just thought, this is ridiculous. This can't go with this, and this can't go with that. And you didn't even know what you're doing, and you need to start over. <laughs> you need to make something blue for Soul Away the Blues. Don't forget about Soul Away the Blues, Big Mom and me. We're having a Sew Away the Blues Challenge. You have to make something. It has to be made between January 13, 2021. 2021, January 13 to February 13. February 13 is the last day. Names will be drawn February 14 to win two prizes. There's a $100 cash card for me and Viv, and there's a $50 gift card, United States only, from Fabric Mart Fabrics. So, go over to Instagram. I think I'll do that maybe in my video tomorrow. I think I'll turn on Instagram because I know a lot of you don't have it. And we'll start uh, looking at all the garments everybody's made for the Soul Away the Blues contest. Now, if somebody made it before January 13th, it doesn't count. We are not going to count it. It will be crossed off the list. And um, you need to make something during the challenge period. All right. So, I'm going to let you go for today. I'm going to go work on that long, long video. <laughs> I've been working on. But have a blessed day. I'll be back tomorrow for another devotional.